Right, what I'm saying is that dynamic offset in the bats. I mean, it needs to be. It needs to affect both the late and the back in favour. So, say if I put that as minus one, I want it instead of um, for the lay side. Instead of going, you know, for for lay that's at 2.00. Instead of laying it at 2.91, which it will be unmatched, I need it to detect that. You know, it's a lay bat and lay at 2.01. So, you know, if I put it at minus one I want it to affect both back and lay in the favour of the in the favour of getting matched basically is what I'm trying to say okay is that um system isn't moving oh right yeah I need to select the market where are we on 310 so that hasn't gone into play uh Three ten. What is going on here? All oh, right, yeah. There we go. Whew, I was getting a bit worried for a minute there. Got a bet on Topaz and Azawam. They're both gone in. They were both uh, just regular one p bets. And you see, my bots jumped into the next race now. So I'll close that down. We've got eight minutes. I think we're nearly coming to the end now. I can say whether I want the market to be in play or out of play, in play or not in play. Sorry, I can say like if I, if I need the market to be in for over 60 seconds before I want to trigger to kick in. So say like you could spot the biggest drifter after 60 seconds of the market being in play. Give that a try. Uh, I also want to work on this trigger, which I've yet to finish. It's a in play race distance. I need to work out, um, you know, a kind of average of uh, when the race is going to end and when the market does go in play, because my bot can detect when the market actually goes in play, even if it's like a minute late or something, it'll, it'll detect that, and then it can take that into account when it's doing this in race play distance. So I could say like, you know, seventy percent before the end, you know, or something um, greater than seventy percent, lay the lay the the horse in third position or the horse in second position as long as it's odds are between certain amounts just again more mixing and matching of criteria possibilities some notes down here on, on uh, what I've been doing this here is um, the condition for the uh, gone to next race go to the next race is set for number four once market is suspended for se 10 seconds or uh, or all the, tr all the condition has been met um, number three is closed, two is suspended, and uh, number one is if the time has gone beyond all conditions. I think that might need a bit of looking at that one. Just some more notes here. Um, over to custom bats. You you understand custom bats, which I've gone over earlier. I may separate my videos because they seem quite long. So there's quite a lot to talk about. Uh, system EX. This is additional criteria for the uh, custom bats and for the for each each of the banks uh, as you can see all my banks come up here automatically you don't have to copy and paste this in it's all connected via formula and um, for the lay systems primarily this is for to ensure that um, the minimum and the maximum odds on the lays aren't over you know uh, criteria that I suggest so you can see all my lay systems have been put with a, a max of 9 so they don't lay anything that's over 9 and on UK's uh, and Irish uh, players lays, he told me uh, to ensure that the UK lays were no higher than 14 and the Irish lays were no higher. I think he said 22 on the exchange actually, but I've just put that as 18 just to be safe because <laughs> I don't want to get <laughs> too scared now, you know what I mean. Um, uh, over to the bank. And you've seen this before, you've seen how it works. Got some subtotals down there worked out. Bank barrier, top profit, current current profit for today. We've had a winning bet on System Bank. Get in there, lad. It was only a very odd on selection, but I must have had it at about a four pound stake. If it made fifty fifty pence at a level level one pound bet. Um Okay, the next race is at three twenty. Uh and the all results obviously you know about that now and my bet's temporary results. Uh these two shoots at the end are gonna be um I might post information in there, um, but um, this is information you really don't need to know about. As you can see um, there, I've just put in the odds, all the possible odds that you can get. It isn't required, that sheet, that's just a test. 
and, and this test sheet is um, uh, on lay the favourite and back the favourite. When it does this, its information is put into air just so you can uh, see how it made its decision. Uh, in this one, in this particular uh, bet here, which was a lay the favourite, this is uh, the back odds here, and this is the lay odds of the current price that it was at. So um, let's take, for example, Susie Mary was was currently at 5.5, .5, right? And here is the previous odds that it was captured at. Say, for example, one minute ago, it was at its back price was at 4.6, but its lay price was at 4.8. So it's drifted over the last 60 seconds from 4.8 to 5.5, .5, which is a total of seven. It's drifted minus seven, which makes it our biggest drifter out of. Um, all the horses that are between our odds range, because there were probably more horses in this race, but it was just probably select the horses between five and eight to lay. Oh, I think it might have been four and eight, because that's, that's what I've been testing at. And it's this one, so it went ahead and laid Susie Mary, and then it posted results here for you to see how it works. I'll just run this last bet now, so you can see what's happening. We see it's the 320. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six bets going in. They're all back bets. And uh, unless any of them are non-runners, you should see six bets go through. So I run the bot, and then it just kicks some ass. I just let it run, basically. It's gone through config, get all them settings. Oh, ID40 does not exist. What on earth does that mean? Oh, right, I've changed this figure down here. I like a plonker. Lucky I put that in to tell me it's ID4. That does not exist. <laughs> Another handy bit of code there. <laughs> okay, I hope that's right. I'm going to check over that. I coded that absolutely ages ago. I completely forgot about that. I'm glad I did code it in now for my own. Oh, right, okay. And away she goes, copying all that data. It's great when you've got multiple condition groups, so I mean, that really works a treat. And it's uh, gathering all the results, copying in any new results that have been recovered. And now it's going to start firing bets in. It is a bit late though, we've only got 10 seconds to the off. There's bet number one. Bet number two. I could make these bets firing quicker, but I've slowed down the process. You notice after the bet is fired, and then after it gets the result, it says bet fending, bet reference there, and then it takes about three seconds before it actually clears the cell. The reason why I do that is just to help Gross copy the result into my bets, because I don't understand why sometimes I've made a bet, but the result hasn't appeared in my bets. I just don't understand why it doesn't work. It happens maybe like once, once a day, twice a day. I mean, and since I've put in this delaying feature, it seems to be more reliable seems to uh, get the results more often, so that's why I've been doing it. You see it's been firing in quite a few bets. I think it's done with all six bets actually, I might be going to the next race now. We're at the 320, and yeah, it's going to the next race now. And um, we're at the 330 now. Okay, so that's it. I mean, it was one heck of a video. Uh, thank you for listening. Um, I'm Lafo16 off the Gross Forum and off uh, the Win to Win Forum. If you're interested in testing my bot, I'm going to be making a, a trial version of it, basically. It's going to have all the functionality that it's got, but uh, you're, you're just going to be able to test it, and um, there'll be like a, a restriction on, on how much you can stake, and that, that'll be the, the restriction. That'll be the only restriction for the, uh, for the demo version. Everything else will just be full. You know, it'll just be the full package. If you're interested in buying, please let me know. Uh, Lafo16 at hotmail.com. You can email me out or you can contact me on the forum. I'll be making a post on the Gross forum about the software. Probably on the Win to Win forum as well. Um, uh, yeah, um, just my email address just so you get that. It's l a w f o 16 at hotmail.com. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a real long video. I'm going to get me something to eat now because I am starving. And I think the cat's hungry as well. We've got a cat that's been moaning. He's been whinging at me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna feed him <laughs> before he bites my leg off. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the software, and uh, all the best and best of luck. Bye bye now.